Welcome back everyone. We are now less than a month away from the start of the Summer Olympic Games in Paris, so we are highlighting both past and future Olympians. Knoxville boxer Big John Tate and his trainer Ace Miller took the world by storm during the 1976 Montreal Games. You can watch a documentary about him right now on our WBIR YouTube channel. It's called Knoxville's Forgotten Champion, the story of Big John Tate. And here is an excerpt from that documentary, which picks up where Tate competed in the Games. Ace and Tate were able to persevere and make it to the Olympic trials for the Montreal Games in 1976. Arriving at the event, the pair could be overheard singing the ditty, Every day at the gym, you can see him arise. He stands 6'4 and weighs 225. To make the team, however, Tate would have to fight and best two opponents whom he'd lost to earlier in the year, Michael Dokes and Marvin Stinson. To the surprise of observers, Tate was able to overcome both opponents and punch his ticket to the Summer Games. He joined teammates and future world champions Michael and Leon Spinks and Sugar Ray Leonard. The achievement sparked this quote from Tate's trainer. He's going to win the gold and then we're going to get rich. In Montreal, things seemed to be going well for Tate. He dispatched his first two opponents and found himself in the semifinals against reigning Olympic champion Teofilo Stevenson from Cuba. Despite suffering a severe cut above his left eye and the team's manager advising Tate to pull out of his next bout, Big John pressed forward. The cut, however, was a non-factor in the outcome of the fight. With a single right hand, Tate's dream of Olympic gold was shattered. If anyone knows about Stevenson, Stephen was a grown man. I think he... I guess he, he won about five Olympics. So he was about 40 years old at the time, fighting those your little young kids. Of course he gonna win the gold. If he'd have turned pro, he probably would've won a world title. Even in defeat, Tate was able to secure a bronze medal for his country in the 21st Olympiad, even garnering recognition from then President of the United States, Gerald Ford. Tate would return to Knoxville and begin his professional career. And Tate would go on to win the WBA World Heavyweight Championship just three years later. Again, you can catch that full documentary right now on our YouTube channel.